is this the greatest everyday work bag ever? Well, I've been using this for about a month now. And in this video, I'll be sharing my review of the Bellroy Tokyo Tote Pack Compact, which is a mouthful to say. The pros, the cons, and the reason I chose to retire my previous Air Fit Pack 2 in favor of this bad boy. So without further ado, let's dive in. So if you're like me, have been on a quest to find the perfect bag that fits your everyday needs, then let me help you make that decision easier. And I swear this video is not sponsored by Bellroy or any of the bags that I'm going to show you today. About a year ago, I didn't even know that the world of everyday carry existed, but I quickly realized that finding the bag that fits my needs is pretty overwhelming actually and I looked through so many different ones and ended up even ordering a couple and sending them all back. My asks in my opinion were pretty simple. I needed a bag that looked good, that didn't overwhelm my 5'2 frame, that would fit my 14 inch work laptop and my gym gear and also a few essentials. And of course it would help if it could withstand rain and just the test of time. The biggest challenge I've actually had was the fact that I prefer to wear lighter colors and finding a bag that would fit in my overall aesthetic was actually quite difficult. And because my job requires me to be out and about on meetings with clients all the time, I needed something that was slim profile enough, that was looked smart enough with the formal attire that I'd be wearing that could also just fit everything that I needed. Let me not ramble too much. Let's actually have a look at the bag itself and what it has to offer. So let me talk you through the bag. So my version of the Tokyo tote bag is the compact one. So it's only 14 liters and it actually looks pretty small in real life as well. But as you can see, compared to myself, I think it's a pretty good size because it works with most of my clothes as well as it just doesn't look too big on me. But the bag itself is made from recycled, materials i believe it's polyester and it's very durable and water resistant so it's covered with that throughout you'll see a, a bit of a smoother material on the back and on the sides and more textured version of it in the front so it has the zipper pockets for quick access and putting a few of your essentials including this strap here for the keys and then the version of the same pocket without any straps on the side. There actually is a soft padding here on this panel. So if you put something delicate like your glasses or something, something that could be, you know, you could risk breaking, your items will be safe and protected within here. It actually is quite a audible bag like it, you can hear it uh, if I bring it closer to the camera that it moves around a lot but overall it stays in this shape and it actually is pretty good in terms of just kind of staying on the floor pretty much yeah you just have to if you put your laptop in there it will stay on the floor so apart from that obviously there are these top handles um, and then the back straps that I just tucked away are in here so you can take them out obviously the back comes with them out like that and convert it into a backpack which is my preferred way of wearing it uh, to do that you just have to take these straps right here and feed them through the holes like that and here you are, a perfectly functional backpack. What I would say is that compared to the Air Fit Pack, these straps are actually quite thin, but I would say that they're well padded overall. So, and because the backpack is so small, even if you load it with heavy stuff, the straps are very adequately kind of proportioned to the size of the bag to provide comfort and not feel like they're cutting into you the way some maybe other commercial backpacks that you will find in from big name brands would so going inside and I have a few a few things here 
but there is one large compartment with a few sleeves so there's a laptop sleeve over here that fits it says up to 13 inch laptop but i was actually able to fit a 14 inch here as well um, then there is another pocket to fit something like a notebook which i have over here what i actually really find useful are these two side pockets here that have these kind of um, hooks on them as well that you can pull onto while you're putting stuff in so i can fit my umbrella in there and my water bottle um, and there is a mesh pocket here as well soft mesh stretchy pocket that you can put things like your reading glasses or any kind of small essentials would fit in here so it's a pretty simple pretty simple bag but honestly it packs a punch so why don't we go ahead and see what we can fit inside the bag so this is my typical everyday carry some gym gear flip-flops my laptop toiletry bag and a few other essentials such as notebook and whatever else you can see on this screen so let's see how it all fits and whether it fits So what are some of the pros of this bad boy over here? So I think the biggest thing for me and the reason I like this backpack so much is the fact that it's very lightweight and it's quite compact. So actually on its own, it doesn't weigh very much and I will put up a measurement over here of how much it actually weighs. So i can actually fill this backpack up to the brim and i've done that and it's still after long hours of use and walking around the city i don't feel like it's uncomfortable on my back and it doesn't hurt after a while of wearing it then the second pro is i would say the fact that it is quite well made although obviously only time will tell how just how well it stands the test of time how well it performs in uh, rainy weather but actually it's been raining here in London quite a bit over the past month that I've had it and I've not had a single issue with any of my things inside of it getting wet that being said obviously I do carry an umbrella with me um, so that protects it from the rain as well but I noticed that even if you do not have an umbrella when it rains outside the water actually doesn't penetrate so it is water resistant not waterproof but i think the resistance is actually quite good hi future i go here editing the video i just realized that it would be a good idea to do a waterproofness test and see how well this bag stands up to water stands up holds up to water and rainy conditions so let's do it so here i have the bag and and here I have some water, <laughs> obviously. So let me just try to pour some over it and see what happens. So, oh, there you go. The droplets don't penetrate. What about the rest of the bag? Maybe on the sides here. So, a better grip like that. If I just do this, yeah, some of them did penetrate, I guess. Let's see a little bit more how close. Some of them did end up kind of soaking in a little bit, but actually, I don't even think they're soaked. I think they're just still kind of resting on the surface. 
um, and the rest are just easily easily peeling off dropping off so this is a yes from me hello so excuse my appearance i just came from the outside but it's raining cats and dogs right now and i didn't have an umbrella with me so you can see the impact on my rain jacket it's all soaked especially here you can see uh, and you don't see much from the back because that's where I was wearing my backpack. And here it is. So let's examine it after pouring rain. So we get some color change from obviously the rain on top here. But um, as I was, as in the water test, it actually does, it, it sits, it's literally just sitting on top. But the one point of vulnerability that I didn't consider was this zip because it's not like a watertight zip the way it is, say, on here on my jacket. But equally, it has this lining over here that stops more rain from coming in. And I was in the rain for about like a solid straight 15 minutes with all the walking that I did. And all of my stuff inside is absolutely safe. Like, I don't know, I feel maybe just a tad of dampness over here. But other than that, it is all dry. My computer is like totally okay. Um, and uh, you can see from the sides as well, it just kind of rolls off and stays on, sits on the top of the surface rather than going through. So I would say that this backpack is heavy rain approved. And then I personally really quite like the organization inside the bag because it makes everything just easy to find and there is a place for everything. So I used to own a number of regular your commercial backpacks from Adidas and whatnot and my biggest pet peeve with them was always the fact that they just are very poorly organized inside and there are absolutely no compartments or uh, inner pockets or anything like that to just fit and organize things inside, which this backpack definitely solves. And it just fits with all of the outfits that I have because the colors are quite neutral. You know, it's this like light gray and kind of beigey, taupey color. And so it works with most of the stuff that I wear. As well as if this color is not your vibe, then Bellroy has you covered. They actually have two kind of lines of this backpack. So they have a premium version with um, a lot of leather accents and it looks actually really good. And I actually wanted to buy a premium version, but they didn't make it in the compact form. And they have the regular ones with um, just kind of your standard recycled material that they use for these backpacks that comes in the all black, it comes in a navy, it comes in this color, in green, so there's really a lot to choose from and you will likely find something that just fits your style and can easily blend into you know, most of the outfits that you tend to wear. Moving on to the cons. So, actually, this is gonna be a pretty disappointing section because I actually don't have a lot of cons for this backpack. So the only thing that can be improved are these hooks over here because I actually find that they're quite kind of difficult to open. So if, I wa if I'm wanting to convert this into a tote on the fly, which is kind of what it's designed for, then I pretty frequently end up breaking my nails doing this because it's quite a stiff mechanism and you have to get it just wide enough to unhook it and when I'm doing this on the fly it never really works until I kind of sit down or maybe stand and spend some time doing it so an easier mechanism would be much appreciated. But other than that I find that this just fits, ticks all the boxes, it works with everything and um oh actually no i lied <laughs> the second con is that i think for internal organization they could have done something more with these internal pockets over here because it's just like one big pocket and while it fits pretty much everything i need to carry there is still an element of chaos when 
everything that I need to grab with me is shoved all in there. Um, and I think only need to kind of rummage around to find what I actually need. And maybe I'm thinking putting a mesh pocket that you see inside of this bag in here for organization would make it much easier to actually just find what you're looking for very quickly. But other than that, I don't actually have any complaints uh, with this backpack because it is well made. It's made from durable materials. As I said many times already, it fits my aesthetic so it's just honestly a dream so how does this bad boy compare to the air fit back to in performing the same tasks so as you can see right off the bat the air is quite a bit bigger than the bellboy and here's the side-by-side -side comparison both of them are empty at the moment and so the air backpack is, you know, just the overall a little bit more noticeable of a profile. Also, it is quite a bit heavier and obviously it fits more things. So some of the things that I really do like about this backpack that are um, not, so let's say not present in the Bellroy one um, are actually these side pockets over here. And, because they have this elastic here, you can really put in some really big things inside here. And the shoe compartment, which obviously the Tokyo tote bag doesn't have. So overall, you can fit a lot more things in here than you can fit in the Bellroy Tokyo tote bag. But I find that I don't actually need that on a daily basis and the bare minimum of things that I need to carry with me fits in Bellroy Tokyo tote bag. So oftentimes this backpack actually feels just a bit too big to take with me if I only need to bring my laptop or I don't have any shoes to carry. So yeah, I mean, it's a very nicely built backpack and I really do like it and it, I think it you know, stands the test of time definitely because it's quite, quite sturdy. But I just think for my day-to-day -day needs, this is a bit much. So in this section, I reiterate how this backpack tends to get quite heavy, which duh, it's a bigger backpack. But the philosophical point of this is that it's really down to something called the Parkinson's law, where work or things tend to fill up the time or space available so the bigger the backpack the more you feel like you can pack more with you and the more unnecessary things you bring so working with a smaller space makes you more choosy about what you take with you on a daily basis and thereby reduces the load that you have to carry with you overall these very heavily padded straps while they do help, I actually think they also are a little bit less comfortable than the more flexible straps of the Tokyo tote bag. So if you're like me, looking for something like maybe a little bit low key that you can also take to the gym, then I actually think that this would be a better option. But if you don't mind a bigger profile and something that can carry more things and it can carry a pair of shoes, which obviously this can't carry and this probably would only work for people who have small feet like myself and I don't tend to carry spare shoes here anyway, that you may be better off with an air fit back too. I mean, both of them are just absolutely amazing choices compared to what you'll find in big high street brands. So I don't think you're gonna go wrong, but just in my personal experience, I find that this is a bit big. So there you have it. My review of the Bellroy Tokyo Tote Pack Compact. Overall, it is a wonderful, wonderful backpack for everyday carry, especially if you live in a city and you need something, you know, slim profile that looks good, that comes in various different colors that would fit your personal style then I think you really can't go wrong with this. And as it actually packs a punch and fits more than you could possibly imagine for a 14 liter backpack, then you really, I think, can't go wrong with something like this. But what do you think? Did this inspire you to get one of these compared to maybe a few others that you were considering? Let me know in the comments. 
I hope that you found this useful and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Bye!